guys lindy here and welcome back to the pause area remember we talk all things finance and basically we just focus on smart everyday moves that will help us win with our finances today we're talking about a very exciting conversation because this story broke the internet in south africa i think last week or two weeks back and it's a story about a woman who gave birth to 10 children in one setting so the story was basically and i'm going to say allegedly because i know that there's a lot of institution or the are a lot of institutions that are, and, and entities that are trying to authenticate the story. Um, people like the Guinness, you know, World or, or the Guinness World Records is still trying to see if this is true because then that woman would have broken the record, which currently sits at eight. Um, newsrooms, the Department of Health in South Africa is just trying to authenticate the story. But basically, we sit in with 10 new babies at one go and allegedly the father had two sets of twins before this 10. So you're looking at 14 babies at one go. So today's video is about how much it's going to cost you to raise one child. According to an article on FPI, which is Financial Planning Institute, they estimate that it should cost you around 2 million or 2 million and 70,000 from the time that the baby is zero up until the age of 23 years old. Just to raise that child. So you can already imagine if you're looking at 14 babies, how much that actually equates to. The other interesting part is that um, they're saying that it should cost you around, around 1 million by the time that a six year old attains university. And um, basically it's because an estimate for a three year university education, it should cost you somewhere between 300,000 and 350,000 just for the tuition books and maybe the accommodation and any onboarding expenses that this baby can have, like such as getting a computer or a laptop or anything that's going to allow them to be able to facilitate their education. <laughs> so you can already see the numbers are going up. But what I was interesting with, um, what I found interesting with this article from FPI is that they're saying that you should get an investment that will, you know, um, cost you let's say relatively around 3,000 rands a year and or per month sorry so you should get an investment that should cost you around 3,000 rands per month uh, assuming that you get a 6% return and the child is already 6. So if you already have babies I think you really need to start thinking about how you're going to find their university and if you don't have babies already then you should start thinking about how much it's going to cost you. So that two, 2 million rands that FPI has estimated, it's a, you know, a cost that should be around 90,000 rands per year. And basically what they're saying is that the first 18 months of a baby's life are the most expensive, maybe up until two years old. After two years old, the number or the amount starts flattening out and it becomes, you know, sort of consistent, consistent year on year. And it will increase, let's say, around 3% or 3.5%, depending on what the inflation rate is. And that cost or that annual figure will definitely differ from family to family because it will look at, you know, what your expenses are, what your lifestyle is, what your income is, because that's another important one. How much you're earning as a mother? Are you bringing in a single income or is it a dual income because of both parents or do you have other side hustles? So definitely that number will change. And another important aspect that they've included is that that number will differ based on the parent's money management skills so if you are a family that likes splurging you eat at certain stores you you know you only want your kids to wear certain things then definitely that ninety thousand per year will not apply to you as a family and then lastly they said that that ninety thousand is only a consideration of education costs their clothing and the child's extramural activities so i found it to be very interesting just hit out uh, the comment section below and let us know what you think the cost should be and if you've seen that story if you haven't we'll definitely try and link it um, on our description box and we'll definitely link the article from fpi because i think there's a lot of information that they've put out that is very interesting but thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you our next one Mwah. bye